Now, for years, the media left in America and Democrat politicians have been in virtual cahoots in covering up or ignoring just how much US President Joe Biden has mentally decayed until it all blew up in their faces uh, with Biden's disastrous debate last week with challenger Donald Trump, losing his train of thought, staring vacantly into space, mumbling, that kind of thing, and now even sitting Democrat members uh, of Congress, like Nancy Pelosi, are publicly saying, well, yes, indeed, there could be a real problem with Joe Biden. He has a bad night. Now, again, I think it's a legitimate question to say, is this an episode or is this a, a condition? One sitting Democrat member of Congress has uh, even called for Joe Biden to quit as the Democrats' candidate in the November election. I think we would be better off if we had a, a new candidate who could present a new vision for our country. But so far, no sign yet that Biden will step down, even though White House sources are saying he can only work well for six hours a day and is nodding off. You've, but the media here, I mean, Carl Bernstein, right? One of the two legendary Watergate reporters now reports that his sources have been telling him that Biden has been in a bad way for a year. That there have been numerous instances where the president has lost his train of thought, uh, can't pick it up again. Uh, there was a fundraiser at which he started at the podium and then he became very stiff, according to the people there, as if it were almost a kind of rigor mortis. This was set uh, reported. In. Oh, what a scoop from the Watergate man, except, of course, it's one year too late. We knew that before. Now, joining me on Newswatch is Sophie Ellsworth, media writer of the Australian newspaper. Sophie, known for a year, says Bernstein. So why does the media left only now tell us this and agree that Biden is actually too far gone? Now, when it's too late, has already been selected by the Democrats as their candidate in the election. This is a complete media failure. And worse than a failure, I think it's a scandal. Oh, welcome back, Andrew. Great to talk to you again. Look, this is nothing new. And as you say, a scoop. I mean, what a joke. We have been talking about this on this channel uh, and many other reporters in the media landscape have been talking about Joe Biden's decline, but a large contingency of the media, particularly on the left-leaning side, uh, outlets such as CNN, have been in utter denial on this, Andrew. And now it's gotten to the point where last week they could couldn't ignore it. And we had President Biden really, you know, shocking stuff, terrible performance. He had no teleprompter. He had no notes. He wasn't able to rely on anything. And he was exposed for all to see. Now the media cannot ignore this. But they have egg on their face. And this is why the media, people lose trust in it. We've known this for years. He's been on a decline for some time. But they're acting as though it's just suddenly dawned on them that there's a problem. I mean, seriously? I mean, it, the level of denial is still right there, Sophie, because I've been hearing, I think Bernstein might have said it, but others as well. Uh, look, the president has got to go out and just do an unscripted, not reading from a teleprompter, Q&A, do a big interview live, you know, front up to the media and show that he's, he can do it without losing his train Guys, the reason he doesn't do that is precisely because they're terrified he'll do it. They don't get it. I mean, what do you expect him to do? Well, that's right, Andrew. When he doesn't have a script, when he's not reading an auto cue, when he doesn't have people in his ear, he fails. And that was shown here. Uh, and in some ways, I do feel like this is elder abuse. I mean, he is turning 82 in November. Uh, you know, this is going to be a long road ahead if he wins this election. If this is how he is at age 81... Uh, then it's going to be pretty worrying oh, if he gets good. into that position Thank and is there for another four years. Oh, it's, it, it, it doesn't bear thinking about. 